Look at my new little waffle maker that makes skull waffles or pancakes or whatever you want to call them. It, what, hold on, let me flip it. It's still really hot. There's a waffle pattern on one side and skull on the other. I got it from Amazon, but apparently they have these at Target too. They have pumpkin ones and skull ones, but the skull ones at Target are just black on the outside. They don't have this cool skull print. I mean, they're tiny. They're like the size of a frozen Eggo waffle, but because it only makes one at a time, I'm going to be here forever because Steven wants like four of them. It does cook them pretty fast though. Let me see. It's kind of stuck, so it's not ready yet. Yes, it is. Look how cool. So it's just the skull there, and then the other side is the waffle pattern. So last night I bleached my hair because I couldn't wait anymore and I want to do uh, my red color again. I think, I don't know, because I kind of want to do orange for fall too. But all I did was bleach it and it like. It kind of looks cool like this actually like it lifted this more because obviously like down here is blonde but then the red that was on it it kind of just brightened that because it should have been close to this color when I did that L'Oreal high lift I don't know why it came out that maroon color but it should have been closer to what this is and then obviously my roots got bleached because that's how much had grown in already since the last time I did it. My hair grows so freaking fast. Um, but I mean, this is light enough th that if I put my favorite color over it, it's gonna be a nice bright red again. But I just figured I would keep it like this for a day or two because my hair's still wet. I washed it last night and I put it up in a bun and it's still soaking wet. But uh, yeah, this didn't want to come out much at all but it did brighten it but it's bright enough to the point where if I put the wrath color over it it's gonna be okay but like I kind of wanted to do I want to do orange for fall but I also wanted to do like red orange yellow because I always wanted to do like fire looking hair and I've never done that I had orange and yellow together but I never did like red orange yellow I figured that would be cool if it went from like the red, orange, and then yellow on the ends, but I don't think it's light enough for like a neon yellow to really show up. I don't know. My hair is fragile now <laughs> because of being bleached after just doing that, the other, the high lift color, what, two weeks ago I think I did that? I should have just waited, but I was bored last night and I was like, eh, it's not super hot so I won't. I won't uh, hate messing around with my hair right now because I won't be all sweaty, but this is what came out and then I will just do whatever color I decide over it. I don't think I'm going to bother getting a yellow. That's, I don't, that's like the one hair color I don't have right now is a yellow. I don't have orange either actually. So if I decide to wait, I might do red and orange. But. I mean, the wrath color fades fast enough that I could do that now and then do orange once it's like October. I don't know. It doesn't look terrible though like this, it just looks weird because my uh, roots are all blonde now and the rest of it is still colored brightly. <laughs> but anyway, today's Monday. I got the teacher planner in yesterday. It is not like how- I got it off Amazon and it is- it's flimsy, it's not like how it looked in the, uh, the pictures, so I'm not too happy with it, but I guess I'm just gonna use it. Um, let me go grab it, I'll show you what it looks like. So it looks like this. It's just got like a plastic binding. And then... I don't need it so much for like the monthly thing, like obviously I don't need a classroom seating chart, but I wanted it for this part, which is basically like just half of the friggin' half of the thing. So it just looks like this every week, but it has enough uh, area to write every day what we're doing like he's only going into second grade so it's not gonna be a ton but and 
uh, at the end of this school year when they started the remote learning in March, he did have a decent amount of stuff to do every day, so um, I assume it's going to be slightly more this year because I know when I was in school you got slightly more work every year, but that's all it is every day is stuff like that and there was one I wanted to get off of Michael's like I said all the ones on Michael's were sold out I don't know if they're gonna restock them or not but instead of just having the weekdays set up like this where it was like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday it had blocks right here which would be like math science social studies so it was just a little more organized and then you could write across for each subject couldn't find one like that on Amazon. Um, so this is the one we're dealing with. But I mean, it's good enough for now. It has stickers in it, which I don't need, I didn't even look at the stickers. It just has, oh, it's kind of just like what they give you when you buy a, um, like a recollections planner or something from Michael's. So just got different, today's goal, get it done, blah, blah, blah. Then the important reminder, priority, little check mark stickers, those always come in handy. I know I used to do planning and it just got to be too much. Then these are like um, holidays and little check marks and stars and stuff, so I probably use some of them. I used to do planner stickers all the time. I used to make them <laughs> and it just got to be so, it was relaxing to sit there and do it, but it took so much time every week out of my week to just sit there and plan stuff. Like I do still have a planner, but literally all I write in it is like bills, like when bills are due and stuff like that. So this will be good for now. But I'm going to go, I have to actually clean up his little, his school corner is in the kitchen because he does his work at the kitchen table. It's just got the best lighting in there and stuff for when he's on the Zoom calls. Well, not Zoom calls, the Google Meet calls because we use Google Meet with our school. Um, and I have like a little, like a cart in there that has all his school supplies in it. And like all his paperwork and stuff on top and I haven't gone through all his paperwork and, and work from this past remote learning uh, I don't want to say session but the end of the school year I haven't gone through all those papers yet which I have to do so that he has like a clear spot for all this year's stuff you guys I got my bright hair color back again my hair is really dry now though so what I did this time was I used my Old Faithful Wrath color from Arctic Fox and then I kind of liked how it looked when I had just bleached it and it was kind of two-toned. So I used that Electric Paradise color to kind of just blend into it and make it brighter on the bottom. That was like that hot pink that was supposed to be a peachy color, uh, but the first time I used it I ended up not liking it because it didn't come out peach on my hair, it came out hot hot pink. So I don't know, I just like it's uh, brighter right up here and then the the hot pink color that kind of turned peachy this time kind of more what the color was supposed to be but like uh, my hair is so hard to straighten and no matter what I do I've got like chunks of curly hair underneath so anyway I'm trying to let it just like flatten itself out because it's always it still wants to be poofy after I straighten it it's annoying but yeah, I've got to do lots of uh, conditioning treatments on it this week because it's very dry from having bleach put over it after I had just done that stupid L'Oreal high color stuff. I'm not going to ever use that again, which is a bummer because I used to love that stuff. I'm doing my makeup now because I'm going to film a current favorites video um, that I've been meaning to do all week. Today's Wednesday. I haven't felt like filming anything. There hasn't been much stuff to film or talk about, so. Um, just got my groceries and there's a bunch of stuff missing and a bunch of stuff that was out of stock. So I had to email them and uh, 
the way stop and shop does it is if you have a problem with your order you have to like go into your order invoice and then do it that way so they know which invoice it was and what order to credit you for and everything <sighs> I just need to start going to the grocery store again even though I don't want to because it's been so annoying every time having stuff missing or they substitute weird stuff sometimes that has like is not anywhere near close to what you had on your list so it's like what the heck is going on <sighs> I'm still really liking this primer the uh, Kat Von D shake it nah, I can't call it Kat Von D anymore because it's not her stuff anymore it's KVD vegan beauty shake primer and I always want to call it shake it instead of shake <laughs> But I still really like it. It's been working really well. So I am glad that I got it. I finally figured out how to use it the right way where you just put uh, one drop per two, per both eyes. And then I, the way I've been doing it is just kind of mushing it together on both fingers and doing it like you just saw me do it because that's the easiest way to get it to not roll all over the place. It just wants to drip right off your finger. So I'm gonna use my Candyland palette today from ColourPop. I don't know what I did with my brushes. I'm blind without my glasses. I cannot see like a foot in front of me if I don't have my glasses on. So if you see me going down like this, it's because I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put, mm, do I want to use this on my lids? I haven't played with this palette too much yet, so I figured today was a good day to do it. It's a rainy day. It's gross outside. I'm not going anywhere, obviously. I'm a little concerned because we haven't gotten any information about school yet. We got a message last week saying that we were going to get info this week, so. We did get a message yesterday, but it was just like a message from the school nurse saying if you're. If you are sending your kid for in-person school, you have to monitor them for all these symptoms every day before you send them to school. And then stuff about how you need to uh, send them with extra clothes because if they have a bathroom accident or something, she doesn't want them in the nurse's office to limit exposure and everything. It's just, it's so much. It's making me feel better about choosing the all remote learning because if I was sending him, I'd be a nervous wreck every day. Like, I used to get calls from the school nurse a lot in preschool because he was always making himself throw up when, <laughs> when he didn't want to eat something. He can just, like, throw up at the drop of a hat, which is not a very good quality, but they were always sending him home because they thought he was sick. And I'm like, no, he makes himself throw up when he doesn't want to eat something. But uh, not so much la the last two years in kindergarten and first grade, which is pretty good. So he's kind of gotten over that. His food sensitivity thing, um, what do they call it? Why am I drawing such a blank? It's on the tip of my tongue. Sensory, sensory issues with food and stuff has gone way down since his uh, ABA therapist came up with new ways for us to try introducing new foods to him. So it's kind of like, as long as I tell him like it's going to be a bite of something, like say we're trying chicken, I'm going to be like, I'll be like, we're doing chicken bites and then we use a timer, usually for like four minutes, to get him to do a bite or two. And now he just does it. Like, it was a struggle at first, but he just does it right away now, which is awesome. And I cannot thank them enough for that because food was a big issue with him for a while. Oh, geez. I just grabbed way too much of that purple color. doing three colors on the lid. I don't usually do that, but the white I don't want all over, so I did the white, the purple, and the matte pink. I don't want to go too crazy with it, but 
and want some makeup on because I want to film a video today. I just realized I didn't upload my the ColourPop Sunflower palette, so I gotta do that too. I'm pretty sure I already edited it and I forgot to put it... Uh, I usually set my videos to upload like the day after I've edited them. And I didn't do that with this one, so I'm gonna have to do that when I get off of here. Okay, that's good enough. I forgot to bring my little color switch thing here from my brushes. And I don't have anything from my lips. Oh yes I do. I have this little Tony Moly thing that I have been using a ton lately. It's almost empty. It's pink so it kind of goes. It's just a lip balm. I don't think I really have a ton of other stuff to talk about. I almost want to just throw my hair out because it's going to aggravate me how dry the ends are. My hair never looks like this and it's super dry. At least it didn't break off. I was worried about that because I put the putting bleach over hair that was just friggin uh, lightened with that hair dye, the color lifting dye, whatever it's called, it was a little bit much <laughs> to put my hair through, but it's bright again. I kind of, like you saw after I put the bleach on it, it was really bright up here, so that color kind of just stayed and mel melded in, I guess with the uh, the Wrath color, because it was pretty close to what the Wrath color is, and then it's just this peachy hot pink on the ends. It looks way brighter on the camera than it does when I look in the, the mirror. But yeah, I guess I'm going to shut up for now. I gotta go film my favorites video. I had a list of everything I wanted to talk about, and now I can't find it, so I have to go look for that, but I will talk to you guys later. A little bit of a different view today change the scenery, but I hate when I film here and then all you can see is that light. Urgh. Anyway, I'm just in the kitchen, try to block it with my head, <laughs> in the kitchen making stuff for finishing up all the stuff I needed to make for like my holiday collection. Uh, Not holiday, right. well it is a holiday, Halloween and fall. Um, but I made these soaps that I'm so stoked with how they came out. Um, Although they look like they're fading a little bit now. But these are my Grand High Witch soaps. From the movie The Witches. And the scent is Peach Magnolia Raspberry. So it's a really like fruity, fresh scent. One of my favorite kinds of scents. But um, I can't really do a lot of fall scents in soaps because a lot of fall scents have either vanilla or like warm fragrances to them and all of those always have vanillin in it and when you use vanillin in a fragrance oil it turns soap brown so unless I'm making a black soap I can't really use uh, fragrances like that for fall. I can put them in bath bombs and sometimes they don't turn them brown sometimes they just turn them darker than whatever whatever color you colored them but I also made some of my scrubs in shape form um so like my sugar scrubs that's not a good one that didn't come out that great my sugar scrubs that usually come in a jar i made them in scrubby form just made them a little bit harder so that they'll hold their shape and these are little i think those are supposed to be owls or cats those are cats with <laughs> witch hats and then there's a pumpkin with a witch hat and an owl with a witch hat this is the owl. Get something stuck to it. That's the owl. So they're super cute. Um, they're gonna be a little bit cheaper than my uh, scrubs are. Obviously because they're not eight ounces worth like the jars are. These are just little like portable. Keep them in your shower and use them that way. Um, so those are those. This is it kind of smells like the Ariana Grande Cloud Perfume, which I friggin' love. Um, which is kind of hard to explain. It's like a sweet, not really fruity. It's almost got hints of like cotton candy to it. If you've ever smelled the Cloud fragrance from Ariana Grande, that's what that 
kind of smells like. Um, what else did I made? make? I made coffin bath bombs that aren't finished yet. I just painted them last night. Um, but I want to put like something in the tops of them because they have a like a little crevice in the top. And I made the bat soaps, which were like the first thing I made for Halloween. That would be used. And these smell like Baby Fat's Dare Me perfume, which is kind of like coconut, but it's, it's got so many scent notes in that perfume. It's another one that's hard to explain, but I've been making a ton of stuff. So I'm going to finish that up. And then I had to order dinner because I went to make chicken. I took it out of the freezer yesterday. I had it in the fridge defrosting. I went to put it in the crock pot today and it stunk. So <laughs> I'm assuming I got to throw out all my meat that I had in my freezer from when we lost power because I think it was just in there for too long with no power and it like started defrosting and then froze up again and now I don't want to eat any of that meat because even though it's going to be a huge waste, I don't want to give my family food poisoning. Um, I think Steven just came back from the store. He had to go get cigarettes. But uh, he sent his dad a picture of the, the trees that fell in the back and never heard back from him. So like, I'm so done with the lack of communication. I can't wait until we move and we're on our own. <sighs> yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Saturday afternoon and I just realized that I didn't film like an outro clip for this vi uh, vlog. I didn't end it at all. Okay, so I just wanted to end it and say bye for the week. Um, and nothing exciting happened to this week, so as usual. But um, we got up early today because we thought Steven's dad was going to come because like he's told him that the trees fell in the backyard didn't get any response from him but like he has a chainsaw and we don't so like bring your chainsaw down and cut it up if you want to I guess he doesn't give a crap about it but like I'm not gonna go buy something to cut that tree up and I'm not gonna pay so like hire someone to come do it for us so I told you guys last week some guy that was just driving around after that storm looking for damage had knocked on the door and asked if we wanted him to take care of the trees that fell and Steven was like no my dad's my dad owns the house he's gonna come down and do it himself um so who knows who knows if he's coming I'm kind of glad that he didn't show up but I was expecting him to because I figured he would but um yeah that's about it I did like super fall makeup today with that um, the ColourPop Little Ray of Sunshine palette. As much as I don't like all matte palettes, I really like the color combination in that one. Like I didn't use any shimmers on my lid today. I used the kind of like yellowish mustard color and then I used the orangey color and then the brown. Um, that whole bottom row. Like I said in the swatch video, that's my favorite three colors in the palette because they just look like fall leaves. I have hiccups now, sorry. Um, so I am, I'm having a Labor Day sale right now, so from now until through Monday, stuff is on sale. Um, so if you're watching this on Monday, it should still all be on sale. Um, we'll app not like on sale showing up, but if you use the code Labor Day, all capital letters, you get 30% off your order. So hopefully I get this up on Monday morning and if you wanna go order, you can order. Um, I got a bunch of orders on Etsy too. I can never run the same sales on Etsy that I run on my website because Etsy takes so, mi so much of your money <laughs> like there's fees for listing everything which isn't that bad because it's 20 cents a listing and then like they expire after a certain amount of time I think it's three months or something and then you have to pay 20 cents to list them again um, and they like I don't even know how much they take now I know their fees went up and everybody had a fit over it and they were trying to tell you to like oh offer free shipping to uh, 
entice more customers. I, they sent out emails saying like offer free shipping, but like raise all your prices to adjust for that. And like <laughs> that's just it doesn't make sense to me to do that. So every now and then I'll have like a free shipping sale, but I can never run the same exact sale that I run on my site because I'm just gonna lose money doing it that way. So I do have sales on Etsy, but they're usually like 15 or 20% off instead of 30 like I can do on my own site. <clears throat> Cause I don't wanna list them as different prices on Etsy and then have people be like, why are your Etsy prices higher than your other, like, you know? It just doesn't, doesn't make sense to me to do it that way. I'm just like procrastinating today because I don't feel like doing anything and I thought his dad was going to come and I wasn't going to get much done anyway but I guess he's not coming because he usually comes between like 10 and 11 and it's almost 12 now so <sighs> relief that he won't be here this weekend but um I'm just going to say bye I don't have any other videos planned this week well you will see my I did a favorites video like a current favorite current favorites that I filmed the other day, but I wanted it to go up after this one. So I think it's going to be out on Wednesday. Um, I'll set it to go up on Wednesday. I'm actually uploading it right now. And it just processed. So it's all done. It's going to go up on Wednesday morning. And I made the whole house smells so good right now because I made a bunch of bath bombs yesterday. And um, I usually do like a red skull with the Day of the Dead scent every year and I use I used to use a skull like cake pan that had three mini cake molds in it well it had six mini cake molds in it but they were very like shallow and like this thin so it was so easy for them to break um, the bath bombs to break when I made them in those molds so I think it was last year I got a really cool skull mold that's deeper and they just, they came out awesome. None of them cracked. I was so happy. I've kind of figured out a different um, recipe for the bath bombs now that's a little bit wetter, but it makes it so that it doesn't uh, crack on me because I had such a problem for so long with, I would make a whole table full of bath bombs and like half of them would be cracked the next morning when I went out there to check on them. I had to... <sighs> I had to do something about that because it was such a waste of time and like so much work goes into them especially the ones you have to paint like I'm not doing the Sanderson sisters bombs again this year because they took they were so time-consuming and I don't think I charged enough for them considering that I had to sit there and hand paint all of them but um I wanted to do more bath bombs this year for Halloween because everybody likes them for the holidays like from now through like January is when my bath bombs really sell um, but I wanted to make it easier on myself and not make them so difficult so like I did paint the coffin ones but I just painted the whole inside of them like a shimmery purple to look like velvet and I put some like glued some bats to them and then um, the skull ones I'm just gonna paint like the eyes and the nose and maybe use like a um, Sometimes I use like the spray food coloring to give them an airbrushed look. I just haven't decided what color I want to do yet because the bombs themselves are red. I might do gold or something. I don't even know what colors I have left, but um, yeah. So there's lots of st fun stuff coming. I just got the artwork, the finished artwork for the, uh, the eyeshadow palette. So everything's going to start being sneak peeked on my... On my uh, Instagram soon. So if you don't follow my shop's Instagram, it's just at pretties for your face. Um, but yeah, I forgot what I was going to talk. I, can't, I keep hiccuping. I don't know why. It must be because I just ate. I must have eaten too fast. But um, I will talk to you guys next week.